Hi everybody, it's Lori back again with Reviews by Comparison here today to talk about one of the candles that I purchased for, for the holiday season. Oh my goodness, so I had purchased quite a few candles for the season and one of my favorites or one of the ones that I was looking forward to the most is this pink fairy gumdrop which I have burning here next to me. So I wanted to go over a little bit more about this candle, how the performance was, how I like it or if I don't like it. No, I do like it. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about this, this candle today. So I wanted to take a moment and welcome you if you're new and say welcome back to those of you that are subscribers to the channel. Glad to have you here today. And if you are not already subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe down below. Fingers are behind the camera <laughs> or the candle. And uh, give me a like on this video. It helps me to know what content you're looking for so I can always improve and grow for the channel. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about this candle. Okay, so the notes on this candle say sparkling sugared berries, pink cotton candy, and a sprinkle of fairy dust. And I know in my review of the um, holiday candle haul that I had, I said, I don't know what a sprinkle of fairy dust smells like, but I'm all for it. <laughs> on cold sniff, you definitely get a creamy strawberry note. I said it kind of smells like a strawberry starburst. Um, you know how they're kind of the creamy candy. So when you're opening it up, ready to stick it in your mouth. That's kind of the smell in this candle. I do smell some cotton candy or some spun sugar. Same kind of thing like a raspberry or a strawberry smell to this um, candle on cold sniff. And it's the same burning. It's so great. I don't know if I can do this and, and not like burn. I haven't been burning it that that long. But you can see it's got the white wax in there with the color around the outside of it and then you see how as it's burned down and it's about 50% burned at this point. I have burned it four different times. Um, so this is the fourth burn on it and it's about 50%. So you can see it creates this nice luminary effect if you can see it through there and as I turn it you can see it burning um, the flames flickering through the little cutout stars on the candle. So it looks, it looks really pretty and I have it um, across from our sitting area in our living room and it looks really pretty, especially at night when it, you know, the light is going down outside and uh, it just looks so pretty. So let's talk about the scents on this candle, the strength and throw and how it's performing so far for me. So as I was mentioning, um, this candle does smell very much like it smells on cold sniff. So if you have the opportunity to sniff it through a mask in the store, uh, you know, I, I can't do anything about the difference with what it's gonna smell like through the mask. And you know, at this point, I've kind of given up on that. It's so hard to smell through the mask. But if you can picture the scent of like a creamy strawberry with some raspberry notes in it with cotton candy, that is really truly what I am smelling in this candle. And when it when it's burning, it's very much the same. It takes, a, well, it took me about a half an hour for it to start to get going, and then you could really start to smell it um, within an hour or so. Obviously, it was, it was really going strong. Now, the throw in this candle is not super overpowering, but I think that's good for this. I don't know that I would want to be, um, like I always say, knock my socks off <laughs> with a super sweet smell. Because sometimes when they do that and they try to make it a lot stronger, it becomes almost too sickeningly sweet. And I don't know that I would want that. This is just so pleasant. I mean, you can smell it. Just ni nice little hints of sweetness throughout your room and, and I have an open concept. So I have my kitchen, my dining room and my living room. They're all kind of open up together with high ceilings in the living room. And this pretty much filled it. I could smell it through the um, living room. I could get whiffs of it in the kitchen. 
and as I walked through my house, you could, it just smelled really nice. It smells pleasantly sweet. It doesn't smell, like I said, it doesn't make you choke or think, you know, this is too much or I won't want to open a window. And so this is really, really good. Now I will say I did have a couple of wax melts going in the, I had one in this room and I had one going in my bedroom and I tried to pick scents that were, um, that would go well with it. It would complement it. That was the word I was looking for. It would complement the scent. So I picked some sweeter type um, berry scents, which um, I think really made a, a good difference. So basically the whole house just kind of smelled like this beautiful sweet berry. Now I couldn't smell, because I did try, couldn't really t smell the wax melts outside of the rooms. They are on the lighter side, but it was still nice to be able to go from room to room and have that same smell follow me throughout wherever I was going. Okay, so let's talk about the performance so far. Now I will say, I was just saying this to my husband last night that a lot of the Bath and Body Works candles this fall and winter season are dudding out about halfway through. And I will say it was a hot, fast burner in the beginning. I did have to trim off the mushroom tops um, on this candle. And now that we've reached about the halfway point on this, before I, I lit this today, I did not have to trim them off. So they are starting to shrink up a little bit. The um, wicks, they're not uh, as, as long. They're not creating the mushroom tops. And that's kind of what I saw with a lot of the fall candles this season. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's gonna be that way as well with this one. I'm gonna try not to cotton ball it. Um, if you don't know what cotton balling is, is so, the candle burns and you let a nice wax um, melt or pool of wax get into your candle. You obviously extinguish the flames and then you suck up some of the wax with a cotton ball, a couple of them. See how much of the wick it gives you. And it, you don't have to do that much, probably two or three cotton balls, maybe. I think I did two on the last candle that I, that I used and it, it made a very big difference in the performance. I just feel like I'm wasting the wax. <laughs> like I'm throwing it away. And I know some people use it like as a fire starter or whatever for a fire pit. And oh, we don't have any of that. So I just feel like I'm throwing away really yummy wax. <laughs> In the same, you know, and I don't want to get rid of any wax on this candle. I will tell you that right now. So anyway, I'm going to try not to cotton ball this one. I'm going to see how it goes. Typically for me with these, when they start to get the little puny wicks on them and they get shorter, they still burn. I can still smell them. If it gets to the point where it's, it just doesn't seem to want to burn or I can't smell it, that's when I'll, I'll do a um, cotton balling trick on the candle and maybe I can get a little bit of a hotter flame out of it but so far I think it's been burning really really nice and I'm really enjoying it so for my overall final impressions of this candle would I buy this again 100% I purchased two at the beginning of this season and I already exchanged a candle that I didn't realize I already had one and I only usually burn one for the season so I took it back and exchange it for a third one of these. I'm waiting for another good candle sale, um, like a buy one, get one free sale, hopefully with a coupon. <laughs> Wait for those coupons. And then I'll probably buy another two. That's what I said to my husband. I would like two more. Uh, I know it came out or something very, very similar came out um, for Valentine's Day or was it Easter last year? I just don't want to take that chance because I can see that this would be perfect for an Easter type um, candle. I think that would be really nice. has great scent. It would, I honestly think you could burn this at any time of the year. I, I mean, it's not a fall scent. Let's, let's be honest. I don't know how much of a winter scent it really is. Either, I mean, the packaging is super cute for that, but as far as scents, it kind of reminds me of a spring or summer candle, but that's okay. This is one of those that I feel like will really break up the monotony of all of the, you know, apple spice and the pumpkin pie and all of those, you know, the pine needle scents that we're 
burning at this time of year that we typically burn and it gives you a little bit of a break, smells a little bit different and it's a really nice, pleasant scent. So 100% would buy this again. I hope they bring this back year after year and I give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, everybody, that'll do it for today's review. Thank you so much for joining me on this review of the Pink Fairy Gumdrop from Bath and Body Works. Oh, this is just a lovely candle, and I am so enjoying this one. Um, leave some on the shelves for me <laughs> to go out. Hoping they'll be out for candle day. I can scoop some more up because I just, this is definitely going to be one that is hoard worthy for me. So hopefully I have earned your subscription after watching this video. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I have a lot of great videos planned. I have some more candle reviews from all of the great candles that I purchased for the holiday season. Another haul video and some wax melts, all kinds of fun stuff upcoming. So hopefully you will join me in that and give me a like for this video. And we'll see you next time. Bye everybody.